You say God told you to kill those men? God doesn't tell us to do anything. If you're waiting for him to speak to you, you've already lost, brother. I killed them. Why? Their journey had no meaning. Without meaning, they were lost, and they brought chaos. Chaos is the power of the devil. I brought order. I have explained it to you, but I can't make you understand it. Those Marines are long ago. That wasn't chaos. From where we stand, it appears as if you brought chaos to this world. Not your victims. You see, you believe that this world is God's creation. But somehow this world is a gift created by God. That this is our Eden. Look around you, brother. You could not be more wrong. This godless place is hell. We are in the devil's domain. We are here to fulfill our commandment to drive the devil out and bring order to his chaos. We are all soldiers. Soldiers on the crusade. Crusade, jihad, holy war. Call it what you want, brother. It is your duty. Mm. And those Marines, I suppose they were the enemy. Yes. I spoke to them. Each and every one of them when they arrived in Monaco. These men reveled in the chaos. I reminded them of their oath to the Lord. But they could not hear me. Did they... did they laugh at you? They offended God. I found them to be lost and without hope. The godless are the slaves upon which hell is built. The godless have forgotten the commandment. The godless feed the devil. The question is, why weren't you there to kill them? All right. Lucas, let's talk about Turkey. Your miracle mile, as it was called. That was no miracle. It was a message. A clear and direct message that only a fool would not hear. From God? I should have died when Urzrum fell to the rebels. I should have died sneaking through enemy territory for 26 days. I should have died in the DMZ, yet somehow the snipers missed me time and time again. I should have died crossing the minefield, but somehow here I still am. That brother is a message. He led me through the chaos so I could be in his hand. I will no longer be the devil's slave. I will no longer watch silently as he feeds on the lost. I am compelled to do the duty as he commanded. Well, this duty may end with you going to the chair. Death would be a blessing. But as you can see, you cannot kill me. It is not in his plan. Release me, brother. I can't do that, Woods. You know I can't. Release me. Well, we're going to send you somewhere. To get some help. I do not need help. It's a new program, Woods. Designed for people just like you. <laughs> I will not die by your hand, brother. That is not his plan. We'll see, Woods. We'll see.
explain that I'm the bloody victim here. No, I don't even know that Santonio's records so we can sort this out. We have looked you up. There is no record of you working at the Valencia office. But that's not possible to begin. They have no record of Frank Bishop ever working for the Santonian Strategic Investments Company. Is you need to speak to Johnson Davis. He, he put me in. We have spoken to Mr. Davis. He's never heard of you. Don't, I mean, he's a liar. Why would he lie? Because he's trying to get rid of me. He, he put me here as a punishment, okay? He knew Esparza was going to take Valencia, so, so he put me here hoping I'd get killed along with every other foreigner. But it didn't fucking work, did it? Because here I am. These are serious accusations, Mr. Bishop. For him to send you to a country on the brink of civil war, knowing full well that any foreigners in the city would almost certainly be killed. What did you do to deserve that, Mr. Bishop? We have history. That's all. I had some info I thought he may be interested in, and he didn't like that I had it. Is that your way of saying blackmail? It, it, it doesn't matter now. What matters is that I was, well, am, a Santonian employee, and I've been held captive in this shithole for years. Now, are you going to get me back home? To be or? clear, Mr. Bishop, there are no records of you. No records at all. Anywhere. What does that mean? There is no Frank Bishop. Born at Lambeth in 2001 to Sam and Evie Bishop. There is no record that you joined SSIC as an intern in 2017, or that you worked for them for 10 years before attempting to blackmail your boss with sensitive information you had gathered from spyware installed on multiple executive laptops. <laughs> now listen. There is no record of you being posted to Valencia. Nor is there a Frank Bishop listing among the missing or captured foreign workers. You tell him I got rid of that info, okay? Tell Davies I made a mistake, I can see that, but Mr. Bishop, you don't exist. You never did. I'm gonna speak to Davies. Take me to him. Guards! This one's for the Legion. No! You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Bishop. Let you will be in a distant memory soon enough. Tell babies I'm coming for them. Tell them I'm fucking coming for them. Until you stopped at 9.22 p.m. In recording. That's Bishop. God help him. Okay. Uh, I have to record this. So I remember. I just had. I had a dream. Or a nightmare. There were these people. I don't know how, but I recognize them. I cannot grasp who they are now, but they were familiar in the dream. I was in a dark room and they were on stretchers or maybe beds but they were upright facing me. They were crying and screaming but silently no sound came from their mouths. They were filled with hate.
I held something, a knife. No, 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 a needle. I'm sure of it. I put my hand over their eyes so they could not look at me. Then I took the needle and pushed it into their neck. There was no blood. Just air. And then... <laughs> the screams. Coming from the hole I had made in their neck. There was no blood. Just a throbbing growing red hole. They were screaming and then choking, drowning. They were drowning. I moved my hand away from their face and they had no eyes, no mouth, no features at all, just flesh.
get some bad memories from that place. I got back there, I'm pretty sure I'll shoot that fucking bastard in the head. Nah, uh, I really think that this is the best way. I figure I'm gonna die on one of these missions anyway, so before I cargo, I'm thinking that this might be a bit of redemption, you know? I mean, if I don't know who I am or what I've done, then am I still guilty, you know? That maybe if you wipe my fucking brain, it will come back better. But you won't remember any of this. Look, if you're not gonna take it, just fucking tell me. I don't want to be here, you know? Yes, of course. Your case is fascinating. We will take you. Really? Good. Let's get on with it then. Yes, follow me. And interview. That's 